In this video, we will explore the second part of photosynthesis, which is carbon fixation. Sometimes carbon fixation is called a dark reactions or the light independent reactions, but I don't like either of those terms because I think they're both misleading, so we will simply call it carbon fixation, which is what it is. We will talk initially about C3 photosynthesis and about the Calvin cycle with a key enzyme called Rubisco. And I hope you get to remember that name, Rubisco, uh, because we owe so much to that enzyme. I figure every literate person should know what Rubisco is. Then we will touch on C4 photosynthesis, which is a mechanism to concentrate carbon dioxide for the Calvin cycle and get around some problems that are inherent with Rubisco. This is a, a quick overview. In the previous video we talked about light reactions and what light reactions do is they produce ATP and NADPH using light energy and that occurs in the chloroplast and thylakoid membranes or in the photosynthetic membranes of photosynthetic bacteria. Now in chloroplasts, the ATP and NADPH that are produced by the light reactions are all used within the chloroplast by the Calvin cycle. So again, in chloroplasts, the ATP and NADPH are used within the chloroplast for the Calvin cycle. They are not used by the cell for other purposes. <coughs> What then happens is that the products of the Calvin cycle are used to make sugar, and then sugar is burned by the plant cell's mitochondria to make ATP to drive all, all of the cellular work outside the chloroplast. And then the Calvin cycle, by using up the NA ATP and NADPH, return NADP plus and adenosine diphosphate for further recycling in the light reactions. 